Okay, you guys, I'm coming to you guys again with another highly requested video. And this is how I do my buns. So, I've already washed my hair. Normally, I would uh, blow dry it and straighten it, but it'll be alright for today. It's not really curly or anything since I washed it, so it'll be fine for today. It's the same process, just if you want to straighten it, you can straighten it. But you don't necessarily have to if your hair can still go into a sleek ponytail without it being flat iron. But what you are going to need is black rubber bands, comb and brush, red tail comb, preferably um, a hard brush, the one with the hard teeth, well, hard bristles are, and a softer brush, just so when you're doing your edges you can have a soft brush some people like to use a toothbrush but i use soft brushes um a little oil sheen this is going to be for your natural hair um pump it up spritz you can use any type of spritz um, it's up to you if you want spritz i'm not telling you to go get spritz but if you want it you can get it um when i first started doing my bones i had the clear gel and I had the round gel but it flaked too much for me but you can still use the clear gel or the brown gel if, if you like but I started to use the olive oil eco styler gel for all hair types and it's just better because it doesn't flake as much it's alcohol free and let me see I believe the other gels have alcohol in it Mm -mm -mm -mm. well these are alcohol free too but this doesn't flake as much and it has that olive oil inside of it so it's pretty good um bobby pins and also people ask me what do i use to lay my edges down normally i'll use the edge control by olive oil but i have no idea where it is right now i think somebody came up in here and jipped me for my edge control because I just had it the other day. But you can also use any type of pomade. This is by Murray's and I just basically will use it to slick down those edges. And for the hair that I normally use, I get the burning hair by Ultra. You know, it comes with two sides, two big bundles of hair. And the packaging looks like this on the other side. But normally it's two pieces that's connected. Well, it's one long piece, but it's just folded over. And you just cut it right where that fold is because it's a little rubber band indicating. And what I do is I tie down the ends with a rubber band. So an end will look like this. And then I tie this end down with a rubber band. And I have one that I just took out, so please excuse it. <laughs> but I'm just going to reuse it for the purpose of this video. But this is what I'm talking about. I do the ends like that. Like that. And have that ready. So my ponytail is looking like this right now. And I'm just going to take it down. And I'm going to comb my hair out, making sure there is no nicks and crannies. <laughs> and this is just a real easy 15, less than 15 minute, 10 minute hairdo. So if you want to do something real quick and easy, you know, this is what to do. So, um, I'll go into my Eco Styler Gel and get about this much. And place that all around. And this doesn't get as hard as the brown and clear gel. And I, oops don't normally just place it like all the way on my ends or anything like that 
unless they get in the way like now so I'm gonna pull all this up make sure you get the back of your hair and start trying to position the ponytail to where you want it to be how high how low and take your hard brush start brushing it and the only reason why I say wash your hair before you actually do the bun or just make sure that you have clean dandruff free hair because the hair will show through that gel baby I've had my days had my days okay so just gonna tighten it up And normally I would use a Tybo, well I call them Tybos, but they're scrunchies, hair ties, whatever, but don't know where mine are, so I'm just going to use a black rubber band. Make me a little ponytail. I don't like mine too tight. And I just make my hair into a little bun bun up there, as you can see. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just spray my hair with a little spritz. And you can sit under the dryer if you like, but it's not necessary. You can just put a scarf on after you get through adding your bun, but it's all up to you. So I'm going to take my primate and apply this to my edges and another thing with the edge control it started to flake on me also like right right, right there it'll get old and start looking white like dandruff yeah I don't think that that's cute okay And the way that I'm applying this, this is the same way that you can apply the edge control or gel or whatever you like. It's not necessary that you do this, but I don't like my little hairs right here to be looking all miscellaneous. Me a little shanty over here. Okay, so just gonna brush this a little bit. So now to the bone. Mine's is kind of willy nilly right now, just because it was a used bun and some of the hairs are stray. But you'll get the point. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this in and set it right at the back of my ponytail, my natural hair ponytail. I'm going to take a bobby pin and I'm going to bobby pin the little loose hairs that's on the end of the rubber band, like this little part. So I'm putting bobby pins on those little ends and pushing them as close as I can to my natural ponytail. So the bobby pins are in and that part is secure. Now I'm just going to wrap it around and after every wrap I'll try and secure at least one 
bobby pin inside. Just gonna wrap it again. You, if you want it smaller, you just make sure that you hold it a little tighter. Wrap the hair around tighter. And if you want your bun bun big, wrap it looser. Wrap it again. And if you're one of those people that just think your bun bun's going to fall off, just put a whole bunch of bobby pins up in it. Just as long as you don't go past no metal detectors, you good. And then the last little end, you just tuck under the already wrapped portion and secure it with a bobby pin. And this is all trays, braiding hairs, cankalon, flame retarded, jumbo braid. And if you have something like this that pops up, you can just add a bobby pin to that also. Trust me, it will hide inside. And then you can also spray that with a little spritz and with the oil chain I just take it and apply it to my real hair. And the cankalon hair just matches my hair texture. Especially when I was natural it matched my hair texture very well so when I was trying to transition from being natural to a perm. But that is how I do my bun. Um, it's very easy. It didn't take nothing but 12 minutes for me to do this video. So about 10 minutes, do your bun bun. You're good to go. Um, like I was saying, if you want to let it dry a little, add a scarf around, around your head. Or you can sit under the dryer. You know, rock your angel mama. But other than that, you're good to go. I hope that you guys enjoyed this bun video. And I hope that this helped you get you ladies out. Because I know that I have been getting questions on Instagram and on YouTube about my buns in my previous videos and previous pictures. So I hope that you guys have a good weekend. Have a good Valentine's Day, by the way. I know that I will. And I'll talk to you guys later.